Right gents, welcome to video tutorial number two. Here we're going to start drawing the isometric in place. So we have constructed this little uh, box here, in, or framework in order to give us a reference, um, start starting references for points and lines on this isometric. So if we go back to the ISO, let's have a look at where we're gonna start in this video. Um, you can start here with me now, and then you can later on when you do your own isometric you can start wherever you feel is better for you. But I always like to use a face on the drawing uh, or a, a, a view on the drawing, we can call this the front view, which has a large portion of surface area against the sort of front view window of ours. So if you look at the box, if you think of the box or imagine that box as a set of windows in which we view this through, the front view box or the front view, sorry, window of that scaffolding or box right has a this this edge or um, side here has a large bit of surface area all right that will sit against that window so we know that all these edges over here that I'm running my mouse cursor over will sit flush against that edge so we can now use that um, window if you like to start drawing um, as a reference of, uh, as a reference or starting point for the drawing and what we'll do is we'll start at a this point here right at the bottom corner of the scaffolding or box we've set up and we're going to draw with an, the ISO command. So back to CAD, right here we are. Now I'm going to use the outline command, right? So I'm going to make sure that the outline command is selected. I'm going to go to my line command, make sure that I'm on ISO. Right now I'm in the wrong um, space, right? Let's go F5, I'm going to work along this side and we know we're going to start at the bottom corner here. So what I'm going to do is obviously click line and I'm going to start there and I'm going to run all the way across to this corner, run all the way up, right? I'm going to space bar just to get out the command. Why have I done that? Well, if we go back to our PDF, you can see that that edge sits flush against the bottom of that window and the right edge or left edge over there of the front view sits flush. All of these are going to sit flush. So we're going to work our way back to this point um, as we go around the object. All right, so have the worksheet page in front of you like I do, so we don't have to keep going back and forth. So we're going to go 50 up, which we have. Then according to your PDF, we're going to come across 40. So you can see I've clicked, I've come across, I've taken my fingers off the mouse, and I'm going to type in 40, enter. Right, we're then going to come down according to your drawing, a total of 15, enter. Then we're going to come across a total of 20, five and enter and all we have to do from this point is to go fine because we've got a little bit of a wedge portion over here so we go back to the let's go back to the pdf you can see now we've got this point so we've gone 40 15 25 and we have to get from there to that point there so in order to execute that little uh, slope we need to find this point first and as you can see it's a total of 15 off up from A over here. So we're going to go up 15. So if we go to back to AutoCAD, I am keep keep having to refer back to my screen number two because it seems like I've lost my, my PDF down the bottom here. So let's escape this command. Go to line again. We're going to go up a total of 15. Enter. And then we can force this to snap by just doing that. There we go. Right, so now we have created that whole, if you like, face that we said has a large surface area against that front view window. Now we can move across. And so what I'm gonna do is, if you have a look at the PDF, because there's a lot of detail, right? A lot of detail here. Um, stopping and starting and grooves and what have you. I'm gonna start with a square at the top here, or this rectangle that's offset. And then I'm gonna work my way forward to the front view. So we'll do that in the second video. So this, first, this sorry, in the third video. So, so far we've created this uh, front view, that face against the window. Now we're gonna start at the back and in video three, we're gonna, we're gonna work from the back and work all the way back forward 